Hi, I'm Leah Franerath, a child life specialist here at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital in St. Petersburg, Florida. I received facility dog Brea in February of this year from the southeast region of Canine Companions. She's been making such a difference here at the hospital and is a great addition. And I'm happy to be with all of you this evening to tell you more. I see Brea and she's one of the best doggies I have ever knew. And she's like a pretty good girl. Yes, you are. You're a good dog. The adjustment to the hospital for Bray and I was rather easy. CCI prepared her so well for the work that she was going to do. She is a professional. Um, she comes onto the job knowing exactly what to do and we have fun doing it. She's made an impact with the families. It's a delight to see her. She wags her tail. She greets them with uh, just such a happiness. And that mood has permeated every unit that we visited. When staff and families see Brea on the unit, they usually immediately get a smile on their face. They want to come over and greet her. They want to see that tail wag, and she delivers every single time. Are you tired? Yeah, me too. I didn't choose to be up this early either. I actually woke up at 4 a.m., and then I went back to sleep. And when you came in there, I popped up. One, two, three. Together, we have been supporting children through painful procedures, and she's been making it much easier for the kids, sometimes not even crying when previous experiences have brought about a lot of emotions for children. Getting an IV has been so stressful for me recently, um, especially having to hydrate, because sometimes I don't have time. Um, but Brea is so comfortable and warm, and she helps me through that. It's, it's been helpful. Brea um, has been <laughs> awesome, amazing. She's just like a little cinnamon roll curls up next to me. And the last two, two times have been overwhelmingly great and awesome. So what just happened, um, I was getting a really hard time with my IVs. They weren't going in. Um, and as soon as I started playing with Brea and the nurse came ahead and did my IV, um, it actually worked. So I think other children have that benefit of being able to pet Brea and being able to relax and calm down and not have so much anxiety about getting their IVs. And Brea is always there. And she's just so sweet. She's just one of those dogs that you can love without having to know them. Brea's favorite place in the hospital is anywhere that there's children. And since we're a freestanding children's hospital of 259 beds, anywhere Brea is, she's happy. Since joining the hospital, Brea has been involved in quite a few activities. We spend time in our infusion center helping children getting their ports accessed, getting IVs started. We've helped children move into the MRI suites um, and get comfortable on the MRI beds, which can be a little intimidating. We've helped kids through radiological studies that are kind of challenging, and she stays with them the whole time, giving them encouragement when they most need it. Scientifically, dogs can sense energy, so I'm pretty sure that Brea senses when other when she when people are in pain or when they're sick, just like my dog. She senses when I'm in, when I'm sick, really sick. Um, so I feel like Brea does that too. She kind of knows how to relax somebody, stuff like that. I feel like it makes other kids feel safe and makes them feel calm and relaxed. Like, as somebody who struggles with anxiety like that, um, Brea can help that. And I feel like it makes everybody else very, very, you know, safe and calm. Our original intention, of course, was to improve the lives of the kids that we care for here at Johns Hopkins All Children's. But one of the wonderful side effects is that Brea has brought a great deal of joy to all of our staff members who remark that she has just made their day when she comes on the unit. They smile and they've got a little pep in their step and they're ready to go back and take care of those kids. You make me happy, Brea. Yeah, you 
make me brave. <laughs> yeah.